Good morning, North Junior High. I'm Caden. I'm Shondell, and it's time for this week's Royal Roundup. North Student Council is once again starting up the We Scare Hunger food drive across the school. Over the last two years, North has donated more than 3,000 pounds of food thanks to this drive and the awesome efforts of all the students. Starting next week, please bring in non-perishable food items like canned and boxed goods to your home base. We will take donations until November 18th. The home base with the most donated items will receive a pancake breakfast from our very own student council. Hi, I'm Maria and I'm back for Avon in Action and this week we're going to be going into Ms. Bross's 8th and 9th grade ELL advanced classes. This week we're focusing on binder organization. We're going to organize our binders and I can see that some of you could use some organization. So we're going to open up the front cover. If you have a mess of papers in the front cover, I want you to take all those papers and put them in the right folders for each subject. So when I was in junior high, I remember shoving all my papers into the front pocket of the binder. And when I would do that, it was just all really messy and I'd lose papers constantly. So you should learn from my mistakes and take the time to organize your binders and put the papers in the right places. We need binders to organize our papers. It's really good to organize your binder because you can stay focused on a school because if you are like really messed up with all your stuff and you don't know where you put stuff, you might miss something. If you don't organize your binder, it's going to be really hard to find your homework or any practice sheets that you have to do. I had to always have my binder organized because I could just find stuff easily when I have an assignment for a certain class. It's really a practice, and if you practice, you'll always do it. Here's a reminder. Organize your binder. Hey, hey, North Junior High. This is Mr. Thompson here for your weekly pride drawing. This week, we're going to go to six different locations throughout the school that you may or may not have ever seen before. Follow me. Hey everybody, Spot One. We are in the tech support office where all of our old technology goes to die. Right. These are called overhead projectors. Maybe yeah, you've heard later. or seen them. Our first winner, a lot of winners this week. A lot of people getting pride tickets in. Our first winner comes from grade eight from Miss Lee, Austria Lewis for being respectful. Nice job, Austria. Hey everybody, spot number two up on the roof of North Junior High with this beautiful view of the parking lot. Our second winner from grade nine, Fashang Ingram from Miss Whitman for being respectful. Nice job. Coming to you now from the greenhouse here at North Junior High in honor of Robert McConnon, a former tech ed teacher here who really, really believed in the idea of being prideful at North Junior High. For being positive, from Miss Salzer, grade eight, Sarad Ise. Nice job, Sarad. Here we are in the custodial loading dock where Mr. Levy and Nate and the rest of the crew do all of their prep work to make sure our school stays nice and clean. Wow, from grade eight, Ms. Salzer for being excellent, Isaac Fogel. Nice job, Isaac. Here we are now in the new tech ed space, working to combine technology and engineering all together in one. Mr. Krebsbach and Mr. Reich will be teaching that course. From grade seven, we have Leslie Mozo Rosaria for Miss Rebelki for being determined. Nice job, Leslie. Hey, North Junior High, last spot here. We are in the office of Mr. Cush, our associate principal. It is a place where I guarantee none of you have ever been before. As prideful students, you know how to keep yourselves from getting into trouble. Mr. Cush, would you do the honors? Yes, I would love to do the honors. All right, the winner, straight from Ms. Megan McLennan, ninth grader, Isabella Ennin, for being positive, respectful, 
and inclusive. Three. Three. All three. Isabella, great job. Nice job, everybody. And speaking of Mr. Cush, a little fun fact Friday for you. Both Mr. Cush and Miss Melville were previously teachers here before becoming administrators. How do I know this? The 1999 yearbook with, oh my goodness, look at that hair, look at that goatee. What happened, Mr. Cush? Do you play a bad instrument, guitar, bass, guitar, or piano? Then try out for a jazz band. Auditions start Monday, October 17th. If you play a guitar, bass guitar, or piano, you will need to sign up for an audition. Audition information is posted in the band room hallway. There are currently two ensembles, jazz band and jazz combo. Email or visit Mr. Wolf if you have any questions. If you are planning on participating in gymnastics, there is a preseason meeting this Monday, October 17th. The meeting will start at 3 p.m. in the Lindbergh Center classroom at the high school. First day of official practice will be November 14th. We have the results of this week's North Pole. The question was, should all Americans have the right to universal health care? 89% of you answered yes and 11% answered no. Thanks to everyone who participated. And finally, we'll be drawing a new question for Monday's home base circle. In your opinion, what is the most beautiful man-made object in the world? Have a great weekend, everyone.